So, I'm back doing a, another video about um, a 3D printed um, clay gland. It is made by Curious Aardvark. He is the uh, main mod on uh, www.slinging.org forum. And pretty much we're going to do a little test run with it. Um, a couple years ago I actually did a video about his uh, rolling gland which was fantastic. So this is pretty much an updated model and still works just as good as the other one, the old one. And pretty much it's what it is. It's uh, hinged. It's got a hinge on it. Pretty much just a little clamp press, whatnot. Uh, one side actually has the bottoms printed. Actually, it's on both sides. Um, one side uh, it's printed with the size of it in millimeters. This is a 30 by uh, 65 millimeters. Then you have CA Designs for his um, his little logo, I guess. And pretty much do a quick run through. And I use Sculpey um, oven baked clay. Here's a few of them, uh, a couple of them. Very. Um, these ones still need to get little finishing touches, little patches that actually had a lot more clay on them than what I thought. Uh, these still got to get baked as well. Uh, this mold actually comes with a stamp, so you can actually stamp it and whatnot. And here is the actual stamp. I don't know if it'll focus. And actually comes with a couple of extra little pieces, little Ike, they're lifters, they pretty much, um, I, I actually use them to clean, them up, clean up the molds a little bit, you know, make them look a bit nicer. Now, I did throw a few and I lost them in the woods, so what I ended up doing was I went out and picked up highly fluorescent, uh, Spray, spray paint, and I pretty much just sprayed them down, let them dry, and hopefully I can, uh, it'll be a little bit easier to find them if I do throw them if I miss my target, because my accuracy is horrible, and pretty much right now, we have visitors, we have some geese visiting, they're very curious on what I'm doing right now, um, but, so, pretty much a tidbit of a uh, hint tip for you, take a little bit of cornstarch, and you pretty much just sprinkle it, I like to rub it down, this will actually keep the, um, the clay from sticking, and I've tried it out, and it actually does. The only issue is it's a little bit messy, and I get it all over your hands. I got it all over my pants now, all over this. Uh, chickens like to eat it, so they've already popped their heads in it when I wasn't paying attention. So, but I do it outside where it's not as messy, or at least some kind of a blanket or a tarp. And, um, are you gonna pop your head? Go away! Go away! Go away! Go away! It's like a comedy hour over here all of a sudden. It's, they won't come near me until I start talking. Uh, pretty much. Turn it up. And then I tend to flatten it out a little bit better. And the hardest part, pretty much, is just trying to find the exact amount of uh, clay what you're gonna use. And pretty much you press it, squeeze it. You don't have to squeeze too hard unless you want to. It's got a couple of release holes for a little extra to come out. Right there, it's freaking beautiful. Uh, the best way to do the stamp is to actually do it when it's in, in here in the mold because it's less likely to deform. And pretty much... You can tell it's a little slinger guy and whatnot, and it just popped right out. Now, I was doing it without the uh, cornstarch, and it pretty much was sticking, and it was just such a pain, pain in the butt. So it's just pop these little nuggets off. Uh, I, like I said, I actually use them to kind of smooth out the lines a little bit. And 
Pretty much, you are golden. And sorry, don't try to tab it. You got a clay mold. You got a clay ammo and the tug butt. Thirty seconds. Is that the, the longest, the hardest part is finding the exact size clump of uh, clay. And after a couple of minutes, that's actually pretty good. Uh, you'll be able to find it just by feel and whatnot. And there it goes that. So the second one actually I've gotten a lot of requests for was <laughs> really there's nothing in the sky it's all me guys so the keys are very noisy as you can tell they are very talkative this is another clay mold that I got. It's actually discs. It's another 3D printed one. It takes a little bit, le a lot less smaller uh, clay to use, and pretty much same thing. Turn start. Oh my goodness, you guys, they're bad right now. I actually gave them food right before I came out here to do this so they would leave me alone, but they're very curious animals and they're, um, but not, but back to the mold. So, pretty much, this is CA calls this a uh, hammer mold and it's got little pegs on the side and they just pretty much fit right in. Each side, they have alternating pegs on them. He said pretty much just take a hammer, but I don't. I just pretty much squeeze it. And you now have a disc to play with. It's got a little bit extra on the side, but that's okay. So you can use the other tools from the other mold and kind of rip it off. It's very thin as well. And you pretty much have a little disc thrower. And what he, he did was he actually pretty much made a 3D printed sling that a bunch of triangles in it, cones, whatever you will, call them, hold them. It'll fit in pretty nicely. Um, I actually did a couple of these as well and lost symbols as well, so I pulled out the spray paint and make sure I don't lose them. <laughs> but it actually does hold nicely. So um, you could probably get a little bit bigger mold for this. Now, CEA carries hard bark. He actually makes all these custom and uh, just per order. So if you need to reach out to him on the forum, but I will do a video in the next couple of days of it actually flying because right now my camera person's inside right now. But <laughs> it does, it act, they actually fly and they actually do glide a little bit and they will catch air and they will pretty much take off. Hey, get off my back. Go. Go away. But they're very noisy birds and very nosy. Really? Go away. Go away. Go away. Go away. Oh. <clears throat> and pretty much those are the clay molds that he has given me and he actually um, he does 3D printed more 3D printed slings as well this is actually the boat pouch design and I actually have some of this on my Etsy just in moose leather and whatnot. but here's his Design and whatnot. But, mm, the 3D printed boat pouches are fantastic. I absolutely love them. They fit tennis balls perfectly. And he pretty much he also sent me a few extras. This is a leather uh, riveted cap cap paw. So, holds a tennis ball. He's got a little uh, leather stamp. He's been playing with. So, and these are airfoils. He was just playing around with these bad boys, just printing these up. These are 3D printed. They're actually really thick. And these are pretty much almost dog proof. 
though dogs can chew on them, play with them a little bit and whatnot, but uh, they're actually quite fun to play with. Uh, they actually probably hurt as much as a tennis ball, so you could technically throw a sling at each other with them, but I don't know if he's selling these or whatnot, but these are little, um, little fun little gadgets he sent out as well. But hopefully this video, even though unfortunately it was a bit noisy, I actually got turkeys and guinea hens coming on over as well. Um, uh, if you were to order, like I said, this mold, it, they come in different sizes. He would ask you what you want. Uh, they come with a stamp and everything else like that, like a little slinger. Uh, this actually came with four of these little sticks so they actually um they work very well just because they'll probably get lost and i'm not even gonna lie about it that uh, kind of it's kind of hard i got three dogs and they, they let, one of them likes to chew everything so i probably will lose them but uh, the clay molds can actually they will use, they will take any kind of clay like i said the biggest tip is to just use cornstarch and they, they pop out fantastically they will they won't stick and they won't deform and I'm trying to fight them a little bit but it pops right out as you can tell now, this, this is the end of the video because these guys do not want me to talk anymore